Hey folk, Alice from Vengage here. Today we're going to be doing a video walkthrough showing you how to customise one of our presentation templates. Okay, so we're going to be using this one, the Airbed and Breakfast Pitch Deck. So if you hover over it, you can click Create to get started. Okay, so we can see that we've entered the editor. The editor is where we can make all of the changes to the presentation. We can change the text, the fonts, the colour, add photos and icons. So the left hand side here we can see that we have all these different menus. These are your creation menus. If you want to add or change an element, you're probably going to be wanting to look in the left hand side. If we click on something on the presentation, we can see we've had this new toolbar at the top appear. This is where you can change the text, the colours, the fonts and the sizes. This is only kind of going to be relevant to you if you're looking to change something that's already in the presentation. Cool. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background colour of this. So in the left I go to backgrounds and you can apply any colour, gradient or pattern. So I'm going to apply this colour just by clicking on it and I'm going to apply this pattern just by clicking on it. You can try out a bunch of different things until you find one that you like. If you don't like any of the colours that are currently there, you just click on the arrow and you can add some extra colours. So the other way that you can change the background is in this left menu if you click on My Brand Kit at the top. This allows you to automatically apply your brand colours to the design. So if you just click, you'll see that they're automatically applied. If you click the shuffle icon in the middle, you can cycle through different versions and different combinations until you find one that you like. Next thing I'm going to do is change the text. You can click to select and then delete. Type anything you want in this space instead. Again with the one below you click and it selects and then you can click backspace and type anything you want in the text instead. We can see that this font at the bottom is italic. If you want to change this, we can click, drag and select, and then in the toolbar, you can click on this eye. You can see how that's highlighted? So if we click and unhighlight it, so if we click to unhighlight it, we can see that the text goes non-italic. If you wanted to underline the text, we do exactly the same. We click until it's highlighted, and then we can see that the text is underlined. So this little thing on the right is how we navigate our presentation. We can click the down arrow to skip through the pages. Cool. So on this page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the colours again by clicking on the My Brand Colours. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of some of the elements on this page. The elements is just designed to speak for the things. So I'm going to click. And then in this top toolbar, I'm going to click on the Delete button. It looks like the recycling bin. Again with this, I'm going to click and select the text and then I'm going to click delete at the top. What I want to put here instead is a photo. So what I'm going to do on the left hand side, because we're adding something, I'm going to go down to photos and then I'm going to search a keyword. So Vengage has a stock library built in, that means you can use any of the images in your presentations. So you can scroll through and once you find one that you like, you can drag and drop. You can drag to reposition it and all of these pink lines will appear. They're what we call alignment lines. They let you know if your picture is lined up with something else. Here we can see that it's lined up with the middle of the big circle. Using alignment lines is really, really handy and it's a great way to make sure your designs look professional. If I want to make this picture a bit smaller, I can go up to the corner and I can drag it in and drag it out. The other thing I can do is I can change how wide the picture is. So we can see that these things on the side are a bit different to the things in the corners. So the boxes in the corners allow us to resize and the things on the side allow us to reshape. So if you drag that in, it's like applying a crop. This is really good if you need to have a specific part of a picture or if you don't have much room in your presentation. And once you've cropped it in, you can resize it. Perfect. 
So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change these icons. But as always, the first thing is to go to my brand kit and apply our brand colours. So when I click on this icon, I get the toolbar at the top and I can see the word replace appears. If I click on replace, this menu appears. This allows me to search all of the icons and all of the photos on the Vengage library and automatically replace the one in the design. So you just type to search and then you can scroll until you find an icon that's relevant. I'm going to use this suitcase. So when I click on it, you can see that the icon's been automatically replaced. Then again, in the corners, we can drag to make it bigger and we can drag in the middle to position it. Make sure it's nice and aligned there. If, for example, you wanted to replace an icon with a photo, you can do that as well. So when you click replace, click on photos in this menu and you can search the stock library. So you just click and the photo is replaced. We can see it's quite small here, so what we're going to do is we're going to click and we're going to resize it. Okay, perfect. So if you ever make a mistake and you're not happy with what you've done, in this top toolbar you can click the undo arrow. This looks like this. And it will take you back to the previous thing that you did. Cool. So the last thing I'm going to show you is how to change the fonts. So what you can do when you click and select is this drop down one. You can search all the different fonts and see it applied to your design. You can change the colour by clicking in the drop at the top, changing it to whatever colour you want. There'll be some colours predetermined and there's your brand colours as well, but you can also use the colour picker. Once you're happy with it, you can click publish and give your presentation a name. Then you can share it via a URL or you can download copies in various formats if you're a business or a premium user. One thing that I do want to show you really quickly because I've talked about it quite a lot is the My Brand Kit. So if you click My Brand at the top, it'll be brought to this page. This is your brand page. Here you can pick custom colour palettes, upload logos and pick your brand fonts. This is a really easy way to see your designs instantly branded in your company's colours. And if you've got any problems or questions, you can click the bubble in the right hand corner and speak to one of our really helpful customer support team. Thanks for watching this video, we hope it was helpful. Please drop a comment to let us see the designs that you've created using this template. And don't forget to subscribe to Vengage for more videos.